From the Art and Villa mine, Messina, South Africa, now what we always look for in these quartzes from Messina would be the elusive Ajawite and Papagawite. I think in this particular section I wouldn't expect to find any. Mind you, uh, usually when the ore does brecciation like that, I've often found little, uh, uh, we call them shards, crystalline formations of, of the Ajawite trapped in between the other little quartz crystals. A uh, reason for that is most likely that the guys who were looking for the Ajawite and Papagawite would have missed those. Lovely pinkish blush to these sections. There is a bit of contact on that side of the crystal. Further, furthermore, the guy's almost perfect. So this is a contacted section, giving us a nice view into the crystal. Now, also quite interesting about the Messina quartzes. They just absolutely fascinate me, these quartzes. Um, they have they have basically a character of their own. I, I don't think there's uh, any localities worldwide similar to these Messina quartzes, although there's not a lot of color. Have a look at the, the often they have little color zoning around the edges. And that is that, now don't mistake the gray for the, the, uh, the gray of the hematite for Adroite, but often there's almost a, looks to me to be almost turquoise in color, but this would of course be the hematite inclusion. Now on the back, have a look at this interesting formation, and there are, are some tiny specular hematite crystals sitting on the back, this lovely blush as well of the hematite infusion in the quartz. All the way from the Arts and Villa mine, Messina, South Africa, and there's also some crystallization happening here. This sort of a off green would maybe be Clinoclaw associated here.